Welcome to Bitty Bum Boutique TV and today I'm going to show you one way that you can make this a bow just like this with a ribbon. These are like ribbon spikes they call them. So I'm going to show you one way that you can make a bow just like this. Um, and today we're going to use some St. Patrick's Day themed ribbon. So this bow is fun. You don't have to loop and make sure you have your ribbon all you know, looped right and tying it and folding it and all that. It's very simple. And the first way I'm going to show you in this video is with my new Bodabra um, little mechanism, which I can't believe I didn't have this before, but I just um, ordered this off Amazon. It's really cheap. I think it was actually like only 10 bucks. Um, and it's very easy to use, um, especially with this bow. So what you're going to need for this one is your Bodabra. And this is the mini Bodabra, by the way. And then you're going to have some 5 inch strips of ribbon. And as you can see, I have different widths and different prints and even some rickrack here. So you can mix and match all different kinds of ribbon to make this bow a lot of fun. So we're going to use our St. Patrick's Day ribbon today. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces of ribbon. And they're all cut to 5, five inches long. And we're going to start by putting the Bodabra comes with this piece of, um, they call it Bodabra wire, um, but it, you could use anything, but I'm gonna use this because it came with it. And you just lay it in there, oops, lay it down in that, and then you're gonna put your ribbon on top of that. So what you're gonna do is you can fold it in half and make a crease just like that so that you can kind of see where the middle is and you just, then you just pinch it together and then slide it down and then if you don't want to do that you can just kind of eye it and then switch it once you get it in there so you just fold it in half and then you can kind of see if it's in the middle and you just keep stacking them on top of each other just like so that one looks about right go ahead and do this one that looks good. I'm going to throw in this one. Actually, I'm going to put this one first. My thicker one. Just kind of squish it down in there. Then I'm going to add my polka dot one. And then last, my piece of rickrack. Just squish it down in there. And then it comes with this little tool that you then squish. So you can squish it all together and then all you do is tie. So I'm going to make a knot and just pull really tight right down the center. And then once I've pulled it tight, then I'm going to pull, take it out of the Odabra and just pull again and do a couple knots. So I'm going to do one knot here and then you can kind of squish it like that. Bring it around and knot it again. So it's nice and secure like that. And then you're just going to kind of fan your pieces, your spikes. You're going to fan them however it is you want. And then you kind of Squish that more and pull on your string again. So, once you have those kind of separated how you think you want them, then we're going to cut our ends. And like I said, this is so simple because, like I said, there's no looping to be done. There's no um, twisting and folding. You just are tying some pieces of ribbon together. So this video is showing you how to do it with the Bodabra, but in the next video I'm gonna show you how to do it if you don't have a Bodabra. So now I'm just gonna fishtail all the ends of my ribbon just by you fold it in half and you want your ends together and then you just cut a little triangle right off the edge and then it gives you that style at the end 
I'm doing that to every piece on each side. Just like that. One more over here. And I'm gonna go to this side. Now the rickrack I just cut at an angle. Can't really fishtail that. And we're gonna go back and heat seal all these ends because we do not want our ribbon to fray. So I'm just, I think this is my last one. Nope, one more. And you could do this before, but I just chose to do it after. So you can go ahead and cut off the, the wire back here. Just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and, I have this major aim and flame today that I'm gonna use and just heat seal these ends. Probably would be easier to do this before, especially with this torch I'm using. I don't think I did that one. Maybe I did. Okay, and then you definitely want to get this rickrack sealed because it will definitely keep fraying. Okay. And once you have all these sealed, got that one a little too much. Wow, this thing, I'm gonna go back to my lighter. <laughs> a regular aim and flame is actually a is a really good tool to use because it's you can keep the you can control it a little better. Okay, so once you have that all sealed. Then we're gonna add our center and our clip. Okay, so we're gonna add our center and our clip and we're gonna do that just by putting some glue on the back, attaching our ribbon. This is just a piece of 3 8 inch wide ribbon. I'm gonna attach that to the back before I attach my lined alligator clip, which is what I'm gonna use for this one. Just put some glue, I already lined my alligator clip. And I'm just going to attach that there and hold it just for a second so it's nice catches. And then we're going to wrap this ribbon around. So we just wrap, get those spikes out of the ribbon and you can kind of pull it. And then we're just going to glue that last piece back there. that, cut off our extra, and then when we turn it around we can kind of spread out our spikes again, get them where we want. So there you have it, a very simple, cute, and fun hair bow that's easy to make. Anybody can do this one, as long as you have some scissors and some ribbon. And this way was with the Bodabra, but I'm going to show you how to do it without the Bodabra in my next video. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.